Good day, ma'am. The region that we are going to report to you is Soxargen. The name is an acronym that stands for the regions of four provinces and one highly urbanized city, which is South Cotabato, Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sarangani, and General Santos. The region has a total land area of 19,165.87 square kilometer, which is about 17% of that of Mindanao. Soxargen formerly known as Central Mindanao, is an administrative region of the Philippines located in South Central Mindanao. It is numerically designed as Region 12. The region is bounded on the north by Northern Mindanao, on the east by the Dabao region, and on the southwest by the Celebes Sea. The province of Maguindanao is situated between Cotabato City, Cotabato Province, and Sultan Kodarat. South Cotabato. The area where South Cotabato lies in inhabited by Muslims, Bilaans, Manobos, Tagabils, and other ethnic groups who migrated to this part of Mindanao with a land area of 442,881 hectares or 1,709.97 miles. Three top tourist attractions. Matutum has a height of 2,286 meters above sea level stand as the landmark of Soxargen region located at the boundaries of the municipality of Tups, Tampakan and Polonmok in South Cotabato Province and Malungon and Sarangani Province. Parker Ranges and Lake Maughan located at Tiboli. Parker Peak, known as Sambalak Peak, is at 1,750 meters above sea level. The Maughan Lake is the crater lake of Mount Parker which is estimated to be 300 wide. Lake Cebu consists of isles and large body of water which is 365 wide and surrounded by rolling hills and mountains. Festivals from Lok Festival celebrated from September 2nd to 16th commemorate Polomolok Foundation from Lok came from a Bilaan word which means hunting ground, celebrated by the people of Polomolok by showcasing the local products in a mix of social cultured activities. Tinalak Festival, an annual celebration that demonstrates the importance of Tinalak cloth as the cultural image of the South Cotabato. Two cuisines, Sinaglay. One of the delicious ways to prepare tilapia or any other fish in Sinaglay. It is a way of cooking in South Cotabato where the fish is covered or wrapped in cabbage and cooked in coconut milk. Native Chicken Adobo The one is not the ordinary adobo. Not that I'm saying adobo is ordinary, but the chicken used in this dish has a different flavor from that of commercially raised broiler chicken. Cooking this dish is the most Filipino adobo style is one of the most delicious ways to have it. The province of Cotabato lies on the eastern part of Region 12 and is strategically located in the central part of Mindanao. The rich, vast land resources of the province stretches over an area of 556,590 hectares, representing 36% of the regional land area, which is 1,815,500. It ranks first in terms of land area among the four provinces in the Region 12. The province of Cotabato, composed of 17 municipalities and one city with 543 barangays, with Kitapawan City as its capital. Next slide. We provided three top tourist attractions and destinations that are located in the province of Cotabato. First, we have Asik Asik Falls. The name comes from a Lagaynon term which means to sprinkle. It is located in the town of Alamada, Cotabato. Second, Pisan Cave. Located in Kabaka, North Cotabato, it is a natural underground cave with giant stalactites and stalagmites. Third is Mount Apo. This mountain is the highest peak in the Philippines and is also home of the endangered Philippine eagle, which is the country's national bird. And Mount Apo is one of the most popular summer destination in Mindanao. And if you happen to visit Mindanao, Mount Apo is one of the best destination for you. Next slide, please. These are the two famous festivals in the province of Cotabato. 
first year of Kasadihang Festival, it is celebrated every 6th of April in the municipality of Arisan. It comprises of different activities such as street dancing, lechon manok parade, and trade fairs. Next, we have Timpupu Festival. It is an annual celebration in the city of Kidapawan, which people in the place bring variety of fruits to the street to showcase the bountiful of their fresh fruit products. Next slide. These are the top two famous cuisines that you can try in the province of Cotabato. First, we have Bae Bae or Bae Bae. It is made from coconut water, grated scrape, young coconut meat, sugar, and toasted pinipig. Next one is pastil, a native delicacy common in Moro areas. It is prepared with steamed rice and shredded chicken, then wrapped with banana leaves. And now, I will take you to the Sultan Kudarat. SK represents Sultan Kudarat in Sak Sargent. The name Sultan Kudarat given to the province was derived from the Muslim ruler Sultan Muhammad Kudarat who began to assert his leadership in the year 1619 and reigned in the Sultanate of Maguindanao from 1625 to 1671. The capital of Sultan Kudarat is Isulan. Takurong is its only city and it has 11 municipalities. There are top 3 to tourist attractions which you can visit in Sultan Kudarat. Those are first, Sultan Kudarat Provincial Hall which is also known as the Grand Provincial Capital Building of Sultan Kudarat. It is the seat of government of the province. The five-story building incorporates elements of Islamic architecture and its design dominated by pointed arches and a majestic dome at the center. The second one is the Panigan Underground River. It looks like a smaller version of Pinoy Anfos in Sur Surigao del Sur. It has a wide brink and strong smash of water but it doesn't own a catching basin where you can dip into its cold water. Panigan Underground River and Waterfalls is a hidden treasure in Sultan Kudarat. Going here is a challenge you have to endure. Third is the Tenobak Cave. It is what they called an extraordinary cave system located in Sitio Kipwas, Barangay Kay Todak in the coastal town of Lebak. The Nobak Cave is similar to the famous Puerto Princesa Underground River. It has a total length of more than 7 kilometers. As you navigate inside, you see various stalactite and stalagmite rock formation. It is one of the off-beaten Sultan Kudarat tourist spots. And now, the two festivals that Sultan Kudarat have are the Kalimudan Festival. It is one of the biggest celebrations in the region. It is an annual gathering of different tribal groups in the province of Sultan Kudarat and the celebration for a bountiful harvest showcasing the richness of the culture of the people. This year, it will be celebrated on November 16-22 to with the theme of Layag Kudarateños sa Guantungo sa Mas Masaganang Probinsya. And second one is the Bansadayo Festival. Bansadayo Festival was derived from Bansa, an Ilonggo word which means in full view and Dayo which refers to merrymaking activities during the celebration includes sports and talents competition, pageant, agro and trade fairs, celebrity concerts, street dancing, and many more. Every month of November, the people of Bagumbayan in the province of Sultan Kudarat celebrates their town founding anniversary with Bansadayo Festival, a week-long celebration highlighted by merrymaking and showcase of their diverse culture. The two cuisines that is famous in Sultan Kudarat, first is Maram. It is the another fruit that grow in abundance in Sultan Kudarat. If you are sensitive to the smell of marang, it doesn't have a strong smell and taste is more fruity, almost like guyabano but sweeter. It is also very cheap. A small piece of marang costs 15 pesos. Second is pastil. It is the Magindanawas constitute the local Muslim population of Sultan Kudarat and they bring with their rich culinary tra tradition. Pad Pastel is a Magindanawan delicacy that 
that is basically steamed rice topped with flaked chicken, beef, or tuna and wrapped in banana leaves. Next province is Sarangani. Sarangani is subdivided into seven municipalities grouped into two parts separated with the Sarangani Bay. The western parts consist of Kiamba, Maasim, and Maitum, while the eastern part is composed of Alabel, Glan, Malapatan, and Malongon. The land area of this province is 360,125 hectares or 45 square miles. The three top tourist attractions or destinations in Sarangani are Gomasa Beach, which is located at Glan Sarangani, also known as Boracay of Mindanao, and a long stretch of powdery white sand beaches. The next destination is Bat Sanctuary, situates hundreds of thousands of gi giant golden crowned flying fox bats. The third one is Tampat Shrine, situates the majestic shrine of the subordinate ruling sultanates of Maguindanao. The two Famous festivals in Sarangani are Sarangani Bay Festival, known to the locals as Sarbay Fest, an annual event in Sarangani held every third week of May. The second one is Monato Festival, which celebrates the foundation of Sarangani Province, held every 30th day of November. The two cuisines in Sarangani are Tinagtag, Tinagtag made from grounded rice, then cooked in oil. Tinagtag came from the root word tagtag, which means tapping. The procedure of cooking implies its name where it needs a great patient to produce such a yummy food. The second one is tuna poke. Tuna poke would refer to raw pieces of tuna cut into cubes, then marinated with soy sauce and sesame oil and mixed with onion though the variations go far beyond this generalization. And now, I will take you to General Santos. Officially, the city of General Santos, abbreviated as Jinsan, is a first-class highly urbanized city in Sexurgen, Philippines. Located on the island of Mindanao, it is the southernmost and 15 most populous city in the Philippines. Land area, 53,601 hectares or 95 square miles. Three top tourist attraction, Kalhala Cars Eco Tourism Park. It came from the word Kalaha, which means frying foot because it looked like one due to the surrounding towers of cars formation. It produced natural waterfalls and caves. Kalaha Cave, a cave that has a pool inside which is about 3 meters deep and 22 meters wide. No pole hills, type of, type of peak with a pointed elevation atop mountain, reeds, or other hypsographic future, future. Two festival, two festival celebrated during se September. A Thanksgiving festival for a bounty of the sea, especially the tunas, various tuna cuisine, and other culinary competition are held. Attraction are street dancing and fluvial parades. Kalilangan means festival, festivity, or Hobulation celebrated every February, a social gathering marked by exchanging of amenities among traditional leaders, elders, allies, and subordinates in verifying tones. Two cuisines, grilled tuna and tuna tacos. Big Ben will treat you with a grilled tuna and tuna tacos topped with a cheese. It can be found in Robinson Mall. Tu tuna Kinilaw, the raw tuna is slowly cooked by the vinegar and the color trans transformed from a deep red to a pale orange. The simple dish is just bursting with a pure flavor with the tuna's subtle brainy sweetness kick, kick up by sharp notes of the vinegar and chili. <laughs>